appears that the, the holy thorn has been vandalised and desecrated. Whether it's on spiritual grounds or personal grudge of some sort, we don't know. Uh, a, it doesn't seem like a random act of vandalism though, because it appears that some professional equipment has been used. And it's, it seems to be um, sort of more, a more profound act than just ran, random teenage vandalism or something like that. So. Well, someone has inexpertly just cut all the branches off. Um, and it's, a, it's, a, it's almost a double insult because it flowers at Christmas. But to me, it's a tree and all trees should be respected. <laughs> just as all land should be respected. But, but this particular one, many people loved it, as you can see. People come up here and use it as a focus point for ceremonies and things like that. And so it fulfills a, a particular role in town. Um, and, for, and for visitors as well. Lots of people come to see it. For me, it's very clear that this is an act of pain, aggression, but something very, very brutal inside that whoever has done this needed to act out. There's all kinds of stories going on on the hill at the moment. The tree, even though it's not the original thorn, and even though it's been grafted and grafted, it hell, it holds the um, the mantle of Christ. It's been uh, that that's been its purpose is to hold the mantle of Christ and that energy has been seated here and held in the thorn for at least a thousand years. Supposedly the hill the original thorn came from Joseph of Arimathea who brought a sprig from the Holy Land and he parked his little boat his boat up in Western Supermere in the estuary and then they pulled on the flat boats across the water to the hill. He was so tired from his journey that he leaned into his staff and gazed over the magnificence which is Glastonbury and it magically sprouted. And so people tend to think that that is um, bringing the resurrection of Christ, the, this, the good news, the new vibration that um, love your neighbor as you would love yourself or places survival of the fittest as an operating system. And so that's kind of the ethos of the tree, is just this sense of love, the sense of peace, the sense of, of uh, inclusiveness. And different people, depending on their different religious backgrounds or um, spiritual sensitivity, have a, a sentimental connection to it. But in modern times, it's just been something that's been there for everybody, and people come and it's just a, a kind of focal point for peace and beauty, and everybody takes from it what they want and what they need and gives to it what they can. School children come up and sit underneath it and do their homework and study the history of Glastonbury. So it's kind of got layers of history, but it's always been important to the town in some way, shape or form. This is a, this is a terrible thing that's happened. Um, but of course it isn't the first time that it's happened. In um, uh, the 16th century, the Holy Thorn was attacked by Puritans, uh, Cromwell soldiers who cut down uh, the original Holy Thorn it wasn't on this location, but it was on Willow Hill, because they saw it as excessive idolizing of a holy relic. And now, here we are, in 500 years on, and the tree has been cut down again, and it's possible that people are objecting to an excessive idolizing and attachment of all the ribbons to the tree. Uh, once again, but we simply don't know. Un until the culprits can be apprehended, we have no idea what their motives are. It's kind of personal. I've been coming here for 13 years, honouring the tree, you know, especially this time of year. And uh, you know, regardless of the myths, it's a symbol. You know, it's a symbol of continuity. A mythological past that means a lot of uh, means a lot to people here, and uh, just you get to know a tree, you come and say a few prayers of gratitude, not just for the tree, but for all trees, you know. It's just really big. It's just really big for me. We're at such a pivotal time in in our in our healing as a planet. It's like we've got a very short period of time now to really pull together. And uh, I know that what's happened this morning to this tree, which has been such a symbol, what has happened is that will actually generate some movement, some energy together to pull people together even further at this, at this point in time that we really need to pull together and, and transform. Well, I... 
I, look, I got up, so I even been in bed all day yesterday. Come out, went out to have a drink, and my kitchen's facing this hill. And I got, what's all that noise? I don't go back and tell my husband because he'll say, oh, you more, I'm always hearing things. Well, it's just true, I do. I must admit, so I opened the back door and I thought, I know what they taking up on there now. And I hear them going, pull, pull, pull. I thought, I've been pulling. Can't see nothing. Bits are dark, see? And they're frosty as anything. I said, I can't stay out here. That's what it meant to me. I found them on the floor round the rake, round the tree, and I dug them out the dirt. What, you found those rakes? Yeah, all of them. Every one of them. Dug them out the dirt. I mean, all these people come from all over the world, don't they? All these girls, all these lovely women, all these beautiful women from all over the world. All over the world come round down here, over to here, come up to, to our beautiful little tree. To our beautiful little tree. But this, mate, you know, huh? Huh? Uh-huh. Uh, um, may, may this news spread all over the world. May all these goddesses all come together with the same thought. Be strong in our, in our, in our, t in our proper hour of need. A lot of the local people don't realise how bloody, bloody special this place actually is. Because maybe because they've seen it, lived with it constantly. But people and the knights from outside the area, because as I see it, everybody comes from Glaston around Glastonbury Tor, really, northwest, east and south of Glastonbury Tor. So it doesn't matter whether you come from over a field or two, or quite a few fields, from northwest or southeast or wherever. It's still um, you still live around Glastonbury Tor, really. You know, northwest, east and south of Glastonbury Tor. That's where you come from. Today we've been gathering um, in homage to this beautiful holy song uh, which has been cut down uh, with not really a lot of love um, and so we've been sending a lot of love and compassion for this uh, man or men or women we don't know who did it but whoever did it we send our compassion to them. Um, so we've been all we've been all gathering as well um, as one unity family here, the family of Glastonbury. Some of us here feel that more than ever it's no longer the time to fight, uh, no longer the time in t uh, to be in the grey. Giving like a boost from this land, which is for us the heart chakra of Mother Earth. So if we can manage to do something like that, to send compassion when we feel a lot of pain for this uh, beautiful tree and all the trees in the world, then what will happen in the world? Let's see. thing is is that the whole community has become united they are all coming together around this in support and love so out of uh, a disaster a good thing is growing <laughs>